So now what we can do is to test this out. Let us go to our routes and um, inside our routes, inside the web page. So inside here, let us take out the roles and put them inside a middleware. Anything that has to do with roles, we don't want any user able to um, manage roles. So let's create this middleware. Now this is a way you can create a group middleware group, but there's another way you can just add middleware. You can just go middleware. And you put the name of the middleware. Alright. There are other things about middlewares that you can work with. So for instance, as much as possible, you want to keep all your middlewares to be in um, lowercase. You understand? So here, I'm just going to call this check admin. So, but then we've not really created this middleware. This, uh, we've created a middleware, but we've not assigned this name to it. So to assign the name, remember that you can always get all these things from uh, the Laravel documentation. To assign, you have to go to kernel.php and then you scroll down to middlewares, you see? Route middleware. These are all the middlewares that came with your app. So now, we have to add our own that is um, that has to do with admin. Alright? So, we can check admin. And then we have to give it the link, the route to where it is located on our platform. Now, just a quick reference to the Laravel documentation. If you come to assigning middleware routes, so this is where you can assign, uh, read up about assigning middleware routes, all right? And this is what I just used to uh, make reference to that middleware. And of course, you can add multiple middlewares by just um, tailing, um, tailing, tailing the middleware at the bottom of it. Or you can use a route group, middleware group to add it. Um, there are many ways to do that. So many ways. Now, uh, let us get back to our code. So here, we need to point to where our middleware file is. Remember, our middleware file is in HTTP, uh, in app HTTP middleware. And that's where it is check admin. So, um, example of a middleware app that is there is um, this guy that does app HTTP middleware redirect if authenticated. So we can just copy exactly what is there and paste here. But then, the class we're looking for is not this. So let's go check out the class here. We'll click here. And uh, the class that was created is check admin. That's what we need. We'll copy it. Then we get right back to the kernel. And um, we can replace this with that. And that's it. So right now, only admins can access that page. So let's go check out. Go to our platform. We'll refresh first. Um, just to be sure everything is working well. Then let us try, you know, I'm not an admin, I'm a moderator. Let me try and um, assess the role, roles URL and see what will happen. Um, you see, roles URL is not showing up. It threw me back to home. Look at the the, um, the URL, it throws me back to home. I think it should throw me back to QR codes. Uh, let's go and adjust it. Check admin, QR codes, QR codes. Since everybody can access to our transactions, I think everybody can access transactions. So let, let us draw us back to transactions. So um, I'm a hacker and I know that there's a rose um, URL. I tried to access it from the URL. Guess what? It has thrown us back to transactions. And guess what the message is? Sorry, thou hast no permission to access this. All right. So that's how beautiful creating URLs are. So nobody can manipulate their way into um, uh, accessing a, a route we don't want. So another one we want to make sure is that um, only um, we want to make sure that only moderators and admins can access the users. So that's in the next video. We'll create a middleware for moderators and make sure that only them can access this. Thank you.